Welcome to Workforce Solutions Cameron. Today we have compiled some information to help you prepare for telework. We hope you enjoyed this presentation and that it proves helpful for your new work setup. Due to the pandemic, many workplaces have adapted their operations to accommodate remote working, also known as teleworking for their staff. Teleworking allows employees to operate from the convenience of their home, which drastically reduces the possibility of contagion at the workplace. The so-called new normal has tested our collective capacity to leverage technologies, simplify processes, foster collaboration between departments, and overall, being able to produce work or deliver services in creative ways. In this presentation, we'll share seven tips or best practices to boost your productivity or enhance your experience while teleworking. They pertain to connectivity, location, time management, which includes scheduling, routine, and planning, dressing for work, and speaking to family. The first thing we need to ensure a successful teleworking day is having a reliable, high-speed internet connection. If possible, connect through the ethernet. Here are some of the things you can do to improve your internet speed. Turn things off and on again. Move your router to a better location. Adjust your router's antennas. Make sure you're on the right frequency band. Prune unnecessary connections, including video streaming platforms or websites. Extend your Wi-Fi network or upgrade to a faster plan. A good location or setup is crucial to your work. Make sure you adapt an area in your house that has natural light, enough space for your devices, documents, work material, Essentially, everything and anything you need to stay productive. A professional setup will help you keep focus on work and will cause a good impression when you participate in a video call. Employers still hold you to their expectations of a full day's work. Creating a daily schedule can help you stay on top of your tasks and projects. We recommend keeping a virtual calendar turning on your calendar notifications, taking a lunch hour, and accomplishing all work hour tasks. While there can be some hiccups and last-minute requests that you might need to adapt to, do your best to stick to the schedule. Keeping a routine will help you stay as close as possible to a feeling of normal. Try to get an early start. Maybe drinking a coffee or having a good breakfast before you start your teleworking day. Although you might think it is not important, dressing up for work will help you get into the working mode. Remember to prioritize your task and keep deadlines on track, just as you did in the office. Lastly, don't forget to take your breaks. Getting away from the computer for a couple of minutes is sane. A to-do list is a tried and true tool to get organized. Whether you use pen and paper or an app on your phone, your to-do list should include specific tasks or action items and not goals or objectives. Remember to add new tasks as quickly as possible, assign timelines or due dates, and lastly, check out your to-do list every day. Getting dressed as if you were going to the office will help you feel more productive and energized. Staying in your pajama or comfortable clothes all day will probably sound delicious, but be mindful that being comfortable will probably make you lazy. Remember, our behaviors are determined by a certain set of cues, and we want to be in our best work mode. Finally, don't forget that it is equally important that you change out of your work clothes once you are done with your work hours. Turn that switch off and relax. To minimize distractions and interferences at work, 
It's important to be on the same page with your family and establish guidelines regarding interruptions. If you have young children at home, we recommend having activities prepared beforehand for them. Take turns with other caregivers at home. Remind family and friends that even though you are at home, you are at work, and as such, you must comply with your employer's policies and procedures. Thank you for your time. We really hope this information is helpful for you in these trying times, and we wish you the best of luck in this new telework era.